Morning everyone, so this is day three. Um, that little pipe that I noticed yesterday is an old soak away pipe that is still active and if you follow it, it goes uh, to next door's bungalow. Next door's bungalow was here before this house, so obviously rather than relocating it, they've cheated and just left it in the ground, but the worrying thing was, it was right up against the foundation slab, but um, obviously overnight I've had a bit of condensation or a bit of rain, and you can see now, my test hole is full of water, so out of all of this trench here, I could have decided to take my uh, sample hole from, for the footings, I took it right where the soak away pipe is, that's been there for 60, 70, 80 odd years and uh, now my hole's flooded so I'm going to have to um, drain that out, pack that back up with some clay again so it's absorbed some of the water and then I'll uh, look at moving my hole further to the garage door. I mean like ironically the plan was to keep this hole exposed for when we start the main build so the building um, control can have a look at the foundations. I thought you know it's in the garage it'll stay nice and dry and typically it is literally right where that soak away pipe is. Um, so yeah that's gonna have to be sorted out at a later date but um, so that's that so I'm gonna do that later on but today's job is to get the um, armoured cable which is there from the consumer unit in my porch through the front room so from the porch in that cupboard I've got to try and get it from there dig my floor up and get it all the way in to the bedroom um, it's not going to be easy so yeah so I'm going to got to get it from in there where my consumer unit is and uh, all the way underneath the floor so I've got to cut the carpet up take the carpet up on the floorboard get it all the way through the floor and then through that wall there which is the garage so a lot to do today so I've emptied the porch out so I'm going to start channeling this floor up in a minute uh, with my big concrete breaker there's um, tiles under there I cheated and just put a carpet straight on top because this was an afterthought and we wasn't planning on doing any of this work um, I've literally renovated the whole bungalow and now I'm smashing its smithereens again and putting a new roof on it. Uh, so yeah, in hindsight, I would have left the whole bungalow like it was, but it is what it is. So I've somehow got to dig this floor up and get that armoured cable right the way through, through that wall and then into the floor. Uh, so I'm just gonna do some measurements, work out where I'm gonna start channeling out, rip the carpet up, and then we'll go from there. So I've cut the carpet along that window seat. Um, it was easier obviously because the window seat's fixed in place. It's easier just to cut the carpet along the front. Um, when we do the new build, the window seat and the bay window will be uh, ripped out and um, we're going to build the wall back up and just go for a flat wall uh, and a flat window because on the top of the window we've got a little bay roof part and obviously when we take the roof off that's all going to be gone and it'll all just be exposed. Uh, so. It'll look better, I think, if we put a nice, big, flat, open window in. Um, I'm still contemplating maybe having three, like, vertical panes. Um, but, I don't know. It depends what, we do, what we're doing for budget and whether I can do it myself or not. Whereas, it's, you know, relatively it's quite simple just to put a new foundation in if they haven't put one in across there already and then build up a wall for the new window. Uh, the carpet we're going as well. Um, we're not paying for a tin hat. So, you know, if things get water damaged, then so be it. So the carpet's um, basically going to get wrecked anyway if it does rain. So we're not too worried about that. We've just got to live with it for a few months. Uh, so the plan is to take that floorboard up, that um, whole board, first whole board in on the front there, take that right up. That will allow me to then put my cable in under the ground in the floor in here and then drill through that wall. So that's relatively, makes life a bit easier. It's just getting it out of the porch that's going to be a problem. Um, so yeah, the next stage is to take that floorboard up and then drill a test hole through, see, see where we end up in the porch. Okay, so I've taken the floor up, this end and that end up there. Um, so the plan is, I've got to drill through the wall from the porch and I want to get it about there for that dividing wall there that supports that. So I've measured from the inside of this edge there right the way across here to the edge of the door which is 100 inches and then I've done the same thing there 
to determine the position where the cable needs to go. So I need to drill diagonally from that into that room there to get to the joist and then chase across here for the armed cable to go through. So that's where we're at at the moment. So I'm going to drill a test hole, trying to get diagonally down and then hopefully we'll break through. Okay, so as you can see from my drill there, I've drilled through this wall here at an angle and given the measurement that I worked out, I have managed to drill through and get through the drill there. So you can't get any more precision than that. So now I can make the hole bigger and open it up ready for the armour cable uh, and then it's starting to dig the actual floor and the channel in the floor so I'll time lapse that in a minute but first of all I'm just going to open the hole up as you can see there I've gone all the way through that's with a 25 mil drill bit um, the armoured cable diameter is a bit bigger than that I think so if I can't open the hole up I'm going to have to go and get a bigger size but that's the odd bit breaking through. Now I've just got to break up the, uh, the porch floor. Okay, so from the bedroom, I've drilled a little guide hole from the inside so I know where I've got to drill it. So that is it there. So I'm gonna now open that hole up with a 30 mil masonry drill bit from this side. So I've got a nice clear hole 
for feeding the armoured cable through. So I'm going to put in a little time lapse uh, so you can watch that. There was another layer of tiles underneath the original tile, so I've taken them up. And it's quite interesting once you start taking your floor up. You can see, look, there was a brick wall there, a joist that run there, and a joist that run up there. So I reckon this square here was part of the hallway to start with, and this bit where my foot is was the little entrance into the house. Not a porch, like in the outdoors, just a little entrance. And they've obviously knocked the wall down, and then made this little porch instead. So, as you can see, that's where the cable's gonna run through. Just gotta go for that electric, that um, wooden joist there, and get the electric cable through that, and then into that cupboard there. And then um, I've got some 20 mil or 22 mil OSB board to put down over this, and then the carpet down. And it's only a temporary, we only need this for about four, four or five months, and then um, it'll only be me living here anyway while I'm doing all the work on the house. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. So that cable's not fed through yet, as you can see, it runs down the hallway, but I'm just testing the depth of it. And uh, I know it's not great, it's a bit messy, but um, that's unfortunately what happens when you're dealing with loads of different subfloors. But it's in, it will sit flush. Um, so now I can start trying to feed it through. Okay, so it's day three today. Uh, it is absolutely freezing cold. Everywhere's frozen over, the drives, frozen over uh, ironically the only bit that hasn't frozen over is the water that's flooding my trench in the garage other than that it's freezing cold and everything's frozen so today I'm gonna uh, just dig the last bit of the wall between the drive and the garage I'm gonna break that up um, so I can lay the rest of the ducting down and put the electric tape over the top of it um, I've got some rods to force through the duct in to be able to pull the uh, pull cord through. Uh, the site visit from UK Power Networks tomorrow, so I'm gonna get everything done ready uh, so they can check and be happy to come in Monday and start doing their digging. Um, I managed to just about last night get the bedroom floor all screwed back down, the carpets back down, and um, sort out the porch floor so it's safe to walk on. Um, obviously, I need to make that good temporarily just for the next couple of months. Um, that 30 mil armoured cable was an absolute pig to pull through. My arms are bruised and cut. Looks like I've been in a street fight. My knuckles are um, sliced to pieces in with gloves on. But um, I'll quickly flip the camera around and show you the cable coming out. So there it is. Coming out of the uh, suspended floor in the bedroom. So it goes through the porch as you see, right the way through the suspended floor in our bedroom and then out there. So that's the cable, there's plenty of it. And then the meter box is gonna go on the wall there. And then our electrician can connect it up and do what he's gotta do. I did start to feel some of the hole in um, on the assumption that I'm gonna do the test hole closer to the garage. But, um, there's water in that new bit anyway. I think whatever happens is just gonna fill with water because of that soak away. And obviously, the closer to the garage it gets, the more chance you've got of rain coming in and filling it anyway, so it's pointless. I might as well just block it up and then dig another test hole roughly over there, which is where the um, underpinning would have to go anyway. Um, okay, right, so I'm gonna start digging this little bit of trench here. 
knock that wall down, and then I can start to lay the ducts in. Wish me luck, it is freezing cold. Right, so that's pretty much it for today. Um, got the hockey stick in there ready, got the pull cable, going through the ducting right to the end. Um, I'm just waiting for the site visit tomorrow so I know whether I can cut that ducting down there and fit the hockey stick and put the meter box on the wall. The meter box is there. Um, so yeah, just need some info from the uh, guys that did a site visit tomorrow. Once I know that, I can start to get the box up and the final little preparations. I've dug another little test hole down there for the foundations. Um, but yeah, that's, that's pretty much it for today. Um, I've free filled back in that half of the trench. Um, there's an awful lot of waste still. Um, I have to get skipped for all that. That's all what I couldn't get back in the ground. Mad, isn't it? Right, okay, so that's it for today. I'll um, catch up again on Saturday.